Hello friends, this is Kapil from Team Must and today we will discuss about time and work. So, uh, the method here we are discussing may not be the shortest one, but it is a definite way to avoid confusion and get the sure short answer. So, let us first start with the basic question. So, here is the problem to introduce our approach to solve the time and work problems. Now the question says A can do a work in 10 days. B can do the same work in 5 days. How many days will A and B take to finish the work together? Our basic approach to solve these kind of problems is to convert time and work problem into time and distance problem. So basically what we do is we convert the work into distance. So uh, as we can see here we have been given a work which is done by A and B in different days so what we do is let the work is W now as mentioned earlier work is converted into distance so here our distance is W and now as we can see that normally there are two different cases in every question in uh, so in this question the first case is where A and B are individually doing a specific work and the second case is where A and B together do the work now the one other point important point to be kept in mind is that the speed of a person remains same in the, both the cases the parameter that links both these cases is speed this speed remains constant in both the cases this is a very important point so let us solve this problem by using these two points as we know that our distance is W and uh, the time taken by A is 10 days so the speed of A becomes distance upon time that is W by 10 similarly the time taken by B is 5 days so the speed of B becomes W by 5 now these were, this was the first case now talking about second case A and B are together doing the same work so the speed of A and B will combine so now the total speed in second case becomes S of A plus s of b that is w by 10 plus w by 5 which is equal to 3 times w by 10 now as we know the total time or the distance is same that is w and the new speed is 3 times w by 10 so now we can easily find the time taken by a and b together by the formula distance is equal to speed into time so the time taken by a and b together is w upon 3w by 10 that is 10 by 3 days So this was a basic question to introduce our approach to time and work problems. Now we will solve some um, a little bit hard problems. So let us see this question. Ajay and Vijay can do a piece of work in 20 days and 12 days respectively. Ajay started the work alone and then after 4 days Vijay joined him till the completion of the work 
how long did the work last so the first step to be done here is to convert this time and work problem into time and distance problem let us make two separate columns for a j and vj now as we can see the time taken by a j is 20 days where the work can be equated to distance so let the work be w so our distance becomes w here and the time taken by vj is 12 days and the distance is same that is equal to work w now we can easily see from here that speed of a j is w by 20 uh, while speed of vj is w by 12 now so this was our first case so coming to the second case where the question says that Ajay does the work for 4 days individually as told earlier the speed remains constant in all the cases so the work done by Ajay in 4 days is equal to the distance traveled by a j in 4 days that is speed into time so time is 4 days and the speed is w by 20 which is w by 5 so we can say that a j completed w by 5 distance or w by 5 work in 4 days <coughs> now as the question says vj joins ajay so they are asking that how many days will ajay and vj now take to complete the remaining work so first of all let us find the remaining work or the remaining distance to be covered as calculated the work or the distance covered is w by 5 so the remaining work is w minus w by 5 that is 4 by 5 times w so this is the distance to be covered by ajay and vijay total together in how many days so uh, now new speed the total speed becomes speed of ajay plus speed of vijay that is w by 20 plus w by 12 that is 2 by 15 times w so now we have the distance to be covered which is 4 by 5 times w and the speed which is 2 by 15 times w so the time taken by ajay and vijay can be easily calculated by the time and distance formula so the time becomes distance upon speed that is 4w by 5 upon uh, 2w by 15 which is 6 days so the total days to be uh, so the total days taken by Ajay and Vijay are 10 as earlier Ajay had done the work for 4 days alone so total time 10 days so friends this was all for part 1 of time and work i hope you liked it and to continue to more hard problems please go on to the part 2 of time and work thank you